What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Days Gone. I think we may find Sarah today. I, I don't know if she's alive. I, I think she is, but if she is, we will find her in this episode. I am strongly, strongly confident, or at least we'll find some sort of conclusion of whether she's alive or dead. Um, not that that's funny or anything. The last episode, we, we pretty much headed south. We are pretty much in a whole brand new camp and um, it seems to be some sort of military camp and we met one of the main dudes here in the camp that's got Deacon's ring in which he gave to Sarah the night in which he put her on that chopper. That's why I think she's alive. Anyways, welcome back. Two more days gone as per usual. If you guys want more episodes, as always, just leave this one a like. It takes one second and it lets me know you're about that life. <laughs> just kidding. All right. Go, go, go. You gotta move. Hey. Uh, you don't look very militia to me. No, um, man. Name's Wade. Wade Taylor. You can call me Wade. Deacon St. John. <laughs> Holy Listen. shit. Deacon St. John? Is your old man a preacher or something? No. <laughs> man, that is a hell of a name. Alright, listen. You Wade. see this, man? This is some crazy shit. Yeah. Whew. So what, you joining up? Becoming an army man? You playing soldier and shit? I don't know. Maybe. Listen, mm -hmm. uh, you look like you just came in from out the shit, right? Yeah, man, yesterday. Okay, yesterday. I've been... No waiting to see the colonel, whatever the hell that is. Traveling with some people, we got separated. You see anyone that looked like this around here? Uh, nah, man. Ooh, but she is a looker. I'd hit that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I gotta go, man. They're checking me for lice or some shit. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. <laughs> Jesus, what a name. What the hell, man? Just, that dude's fucked up. He wouldn't remember Sarah if she slapped him in the face. Oh, come on, Sarah. Come on. Where the hell are you? You're here. Somewhere. Maybe in these tents. Maybe in here. Huh, search. The infirmary. I mean, the Diamond that, Lake Militia and Camp Me. Right? Nope, not here. Check this one. Ah, damn it. She's not here either. Alright, let's go check over here. No, she wouldn't be in the mechanics area. She never knew a wrench from a screwdriver. That's gotta be the one. Sarah? Sarah, you in here? Shit, not here. Alright. Oh, God damn it, she's not here. She's not here, but. Right, yeah, yeah, it couldn't be that easy. I couldn't. The thing is, if she was here, why? Hey John, are you on this channel? Corporal Russell said you had a radio. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm here. What do you want? Meet me at the gate. Thing is, if she, on my way. if she, if she was here, you got something to say about it? Why does she give up the ring? We're getting ready to ride out. You still coming? Ready when you are. Put a lot of work into this. Yeah, some. Don't be looking at my bike, man. Open it up. That ring is mine, you punk. Alright. Are you any good? Can you ride? To hell yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can ride. My boy, I got nitrous in this bike, you hear me? Obviously, we're not supposed to pass him because we literally the hell don't know where to go. There? I mean, it looks like a forest fire, but the stumps are charred. So that means that means that the timber was cut before it was burned. You got a good eye. We call it the dead zone. We use the timber to build our barricades and burn the slash from the outpost. What? You're gonna burn all the buildings too, so the newts and the swarmers have nowhere to sleep? You know you're freaks, huh? Like I said, I've been out in the ship for a long time. So that's your plan, huh? The militia, I mean, to burn everything to the ground? We're fighting a war out here, St. John. We'll do whatever it takes to win. A war? That's what it is, isn't it? A war? You've been out in the ship. You've seen the hordes. The only thing that's gonna stop them is an army. Our army. It's gonna take way more than an army. We have a plan. The colonel lets you join. We'll fill you in. Hello, Silver Lake. You asked about survivors. You looking for someone? 
No, no, not really. I mean, look, there were some folks that I rode with once, and I thought maybe they ended up there. Uh, I thought maybe you were after something. For a bounty, I mean. I'm after yeah, my wife. No, I tracked men over long distances before, but not this far. No bounty's worth that. Huh. This is it. Well, we're back here. Captain's here. It's done, sir. Make sure you make a marker. Yes, sir. All right. You two head back to Diamond Lake. Grab, uh, Taylor was his name? Yes, sir. Yeah. Take him to the Colonel. I'll be there in 1800. Sir? Military time, Corporal. You're supposed to know this by now. Oh, yes, sir. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. You find something? Uh, how long is, uh, Vasquez? Long has Vasquez been with you guys? Couple of weeks, maybe more. <laughs> well, he's been busy. What the hell? You guys been having trouble with supply runs, marauder attacks? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go on foot from here. On foot? Why? <laughs> because Vasquez came out here for a reason. I can't track him from the bike. God. Deacon's better than you thought, huh? <laughs> That's my boy. Where do we start? It's been snowing, so uh, there won't be any boot prints. Come on, I want to look inside the cabin. Okay, I'm following you. All right, so let's go inside the cabin. Oh, we got some good supplies here. Oh yeah, a squeaky toy. It's a doggy toy. What the hell? You uh, <clears throat> you said he stole rations, ammo? Yes. This is an MRE. It's half eaten, so looks like your men rode up on him when he wasn't expecting it. His bike's still out front, which means that he went out the back. Wait, over here. What would you find? The fence has been cut. And the rust. So it was cut recently? Yeah, come on, this way. Deacon is god tiered searching man. This guy's. Hey, hold on for a second. Look over Ooh, here. Seems to be poop. Uh, yeah, we're in luck. This way. Poop and tracks. Wait, 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 hold up. What? You find something? Yeah. Ooh, shotgun Showcase. shells. Recently fired. He, uh, well, he stopped to shoot at something. Come on, down here. Oh, there's a wolf right there. Hold up, hold up. Go on, get out of here. Sorry. What are you doing? That ever worked for you? Yelling at a wolf? Eh, depends. Look out! More wolves! I see him. <sighs> yep. It worked for me before. I got you, brother. There we go. I'm a savage. That's the last of them. Okay. I want to take a look at this thing. Looks like the MREs weren't enough for your man. Clean gunshot right through the head. Yeah, the wolves must have heard the shot. Decided they wanted it more than Vasquez. <laughs> yeah, the rest of the pack came at us from back that way, from the east. You think they chased off Vasquez, leaving one to guard the carcass? That's my guess. Come on, let's see if you're right. Okay. You guys got a lot of wolves out here. The ones that aren't infected, I mean. Yeah, we get reports almost every day. When I was a kid growing up, there were no wolves in Oregon. I mean, a few coyotes, but no wolves. They've been driven to extinction by ranchers and farmers, timber companies. Well, it looks like they're making a big comeback. <laughs> well, that's for sure. Well, looks like another piece of uh, evidence right here. What the hell is that? Another wolf? Oh, those are freaking... Hold up, hold up, hold up. What is it? It's a backpack. It's one of ours. Looks like they almost got to him. And he shrugged off the pack to get away. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. To buy time. 
He landed on his ass. Tried to scramble away, but then the wolf lunged. Vasquez dropped him. Two shots. You can tell all that. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. This guy's a crazy maniac when it comes to, uh, I guess, knowing what the hell happened. <gasps> Wait, down in the swamp. Oh, no. What the hell? It's a job. This way. Yeah, right there with you. I gotta say, I'm getting tired of running and hiding from these sons of bitches. <laughs> you ever take on a swarm? Yeah, I've done it before. This is gonna keep moving. Well, look, you're gonna join the militia? You must stay focused on the mission. We're not out here to fight freaks. Being in the shit, killing freaks, it kinda goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Um, All right, they're moving. This is between us and the graves. The cold weather's gonna bring out even more of them. I think they can smell the corpse from about a mile out. Part of our slash and burn strategy is to find these grave sites, dig them up, and burn them along with everything else. Yeah, well, good luck with that. That's, That's a lot. Them. It's just in this part of the state alone. We gotta start somewhere. All right, where now? Keep heading east. All right. Hey, there's a road ahead. Hold up a second. What do you think? Is anyone else tracking them? Not that I know of. Hmm. No, but he's either dead. Or he's got a lot of friends. You see how his tracks have been overridden by bikes. A lot of bikes. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Let's see where they're heading. You said cold weather brings out the freaks? Yeah, yeah. Cold, snow, rain, hell, even clouds. Well, like I said before, you know your freaks. When we get to command, there's some people who want to talk to you. People? The Colonel will fill you in if he lets you join. Yeah, yeah, I think you said that already. <laughs> he runs a tight outfit. I just don't want you to get your hopes up. Hey, don't worry about me. I don't really... Hey, wait. Hear that? Yeah, it's coming from the logging camp over there. Is that on your map? Yeah. Oh, that means it's also on Vasquez's map. Come on. If Vasquez is there. What would your strategy be? Well, he's not alone. We know that from the tracks. What's that militia penalty for going AWOL? Hanging by the neck until dead. Why? Well, oh. that means Vasquez isn't coming without a fight. Uh oh. Do you see your man? Yeah. That's him. Oh, looks like you guys need to start doing background checks on your recruits. He seems to be right at home. Well, let's wait here. I'll radio for backup. Get your goddamn hands off me! Oh, oh this one's a fighter, boys! What do you think? Oh, we'll see about that. <laughs> What? Uh, I just got this problem with assholes who hurt unarmed women. I'm giving you an order. Order? <laughs> you see me wearing a red armband? You don't give me orders yet. You do whatever the hell you want. Oh, God. <laughs> this man's a savage. Orders? Don't give me no damn orders, he said. Thank you, sir. Very nice. One out of 15. There's 15 people here? There's absolutely no way. Got this, man. Trust me, even if we get caught, I'm not scared to go out in an all-out war with these assholes. Believe me. 
I don't give a crap. I swear I. You stay behind me. You give me cover if you have to. All right. Let's go around here. I go all the way around. There's a couple of people right here. What? what the hell is this guy doing here? Okay. It's got to be wrong. It's got to be a glitch or something. <laughs> oh, that's this guy. <laughs> or is it? I think it is. Oh, they don't even see him. What the hell? Okay, I'm going to get this one right here. Don't worry about a thing right now, buddy. Sorry. Okay. We got to take these sons of bitches out. I want them to come over here. There we go. Just like that. Search this body. Who's next? Okay, he left. I'm gonna get this rock. Not the not the gun deacon, the rock. Go over there. Yeah, that's right, you little punk. Oh, he's coming over here. Something's out here. He's feeling brave. Look at him. No, oh, now you're dead. <laughs> Thank you. We open this up. Yes. Any goods here? Some ammo. Perfect. Hell yeah. Shotgun ammo. See, now if things get dirty, we can get dirty. We got shotgun ammo. We need to uh, clear out, s what, seven more people? Okay. Thing is, why is it that they're looking? I mean, it's not like they knew we were coming. Or did they? <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. See you later. Okay, there's another one this way. I'm gonna go around here. the store okay perfect now we just need to get up there and assassinate this punk yep Oh, we're gonna assassinate you for sure. You're dead, you just don't even know it. Alright. Four more to go, guys. This is nothing for the man, Deacon St. John. Natural born killer. Is there someone out there? Oh, wait, what? Hold on. Oh, there's somebody over there. there. Might be somebody in here. Here 
here we go. Sorry, bucko. You thought you had me, didn't you? There's somebody else there. Okay, here we go. Just gonna turn around. And I'ma smoke him. Yep. Alright, two more people. One of them is over there. Oh, there it is. This is gonna be easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alright, here we go. Just gotta go through here, that's all. Actually, this is boarded up. So we may have to actually go through here. No, that's where he's at. Maybe through here. Fuck, how do we get there? We can't climb up here. Okay, I guess we'll just go around. All the way around. All right. Going full circle, I see. Okay, hold on. Saint John. Thanks, you got him. One more. There it goes. Come here, buddy. You're gonna die. <laughs> Flawless execution. Yeah, I think so. All right. Good. Nice work. Let's get the hell out of here now. Come on, let's go deal with your man. Vasquez. He isn't my man. Not anymore. Let's do the bottom part. Never mind. Didn't yeah, see that. This is it. I can get in through here. All right, guys. Wait, whoa, 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 easy, easy. I'm not gonna. I'm just here to help. I don't need your goddamn help. Okay. I'm just gonna move over here. What the hell? Well, she killed him. <laughs> Did you get hold on, punk? Hold on now. We're not with them. You think I give a damn who you are? Okay. Okay. Jesus. I mean, I'm not even gonna lie, I don't feel bad for the guy at all. He deserves it. He's about to freaking rape the lady. What the hell? It's not like life is not rough enough. How was that? Just your typical damsel in distress. Vasquez? Done. Way done. Captain Corey? Come in. This is Corey. We're here. Heading up the road to the main gate. Hold your position there. We're coming. What about the enemy? They've been, uh, uh neutralized. Uh, hold your position. Corey out. Come on. We brought up your bikes, Captain. Thought we'd save you the walk back. That'll be all, Corporal. So how'd I do? Did I pass? Pass? Oh, you've been watching me all day. I figured this was what? Some kind of test. <laughs> no. Nothing quite as formal as all that. As you can see, our pool of recruits isn't what it used to be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. You passed. Oh. You ready to meet the colonel? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> or the hell not. <laughs> I 
Soto St. John, where did you serve? Before the ship went down. And you know what an MRE looks like. You know how to recon an enemy position. You know cover in advance, tactical maneuvers. So, where did you serve? Marines? Army? I try not to talk about it, you know? I mean, first year out here, seemed like anyone who used to wear a uniform had a target on their back. I, uh, I was in the Army, 10th Mountain. I did a full tour in Afghanistan. So how about you? Anyone who's ex-military has a, a certain bearing. None of your soldiers have it, but you do. Like I said, you got a good eye. I was in the Air Force 10 years, part of SAC. There ain't no missile silos in Oregon. I was on vacation, believe it or not. I was lucky. Before SATCOM went down, I got hourly reports from across the country. What do you think it was bad out here? Everything east of the Mississippi was overrun within two days. So, you familiar with this area? Yeah, I grew up in a town north from here. Uh, it's called Farewell, you know it? No. Uh, it sounds like a fitting place to be living at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. So maybe you have been here before. Yeah, I've been here uh, a few summers back. Me and my old lady, or my wife, we stopped by here on our honeymoon. You got a pick? Uh, of your wife, I mean. <laughs> My name was Carrie. We were married 12 years when... Anyway, hmm. it was a long time ago. He doesn't want to show him the picture because he still doesn't trust him because he has his ring, which came from Sarah, so he's probably still like, oh, what the fuck happened there? Hmm. Hmm. You know, I, I think this might mean keep out. Huh? Oh, no, no, that doesn't apply to us. Why? Because we can't read? Because we don't obey the law. <sighs> Speak for yourself. After you. Mm. <sighs> All right. Is he just holding a barbed wire? Uh, you know, making me a co-conspirator, not very chivalrous. Chivalrous what? <laughs> no, it means, um... It, Right. I never learn. I'm sorry about that. Oh my god, you should have seen the look on your face. Oh, I bet it was funny. Yeah, if I'd owned a cell phone, I'd have taken a picture. Well, for just this once, I'm glad that you don't. Oh, come on, don't start on that again. Hey, I didn't say anything. You brought it up. You just did. Hmm. So what the heck is this memory all about? He doesn't have his Nomad sticker on. So where are we going? Just follow the trail. You'll see that it's not that far. Maybe before. The last memory in which we went to her job. Hmm. What would my mom say if she knew I was out on a midnight stroll in the middle of nowhere with an outlaw biker? Well, I don't know. She'd say, honey, you better wear your sweater. <laughs> Very funny. Yeah, she wouldn't say anything, you know? You weren't supposed to tell them about us, remember? Oh, come on, Deacon. I said that a long time ago. You know I didn't mean that. Hey, look, I'm not judging. I'm just... I mean, I'm just, I haven't told my old man. That's because your father's dead. Well, yeah, I mean, there's that. It's really irritating when we're like forced to walk what this slow. Have you told anyone in the MC that you're dating a nice girl from Seattle and not some bimbo from whatever strip club you guys live in? Oh, well, okay, wait a second. No, we don't live in a strip club. I mean, we have a lifetime membership there. That's true, but we don't live there. <laughs> and second, uh, I did tell them. Yeah, matter of fact, I did. Wait, you, you did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, don't sound so surprised. They find your PhD is to be very sexy. Oh, yeah, I bet.
Man, I really hope we meet Sarah this episode. So, you know this is way past my bedtime, right? Oh, I know. Come on, stop. I mean, I really do have to get up early tomorrow. Yeah? Uh, how's that going? I mean, you, uh... Well, you never want to talk about it, so... It's nothing. It's just... Ugh, it's just this project. I mean, we've got these execs flying in from New York to out of their progress, and the suits at our facility are installing a new lab without even showing me the spec, and... Ooh, well, I thought you didn't want to talk about it. Sorry, it's just... You know what, like I said, it's nothing. Anyway, thank you for dragging me away from all that. Yeah, no problem. Oh, wait, is this a pop card? Is this what you wanted to show me? Say what? Well, these are marijuana plants, and that's an irrigation system, so this here, this is a pot farm. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that. Pot farm. Pot farm. You dragged me up in the, the middle hell? of the night to the middle of nowhere to show me the MC's illegal towing operation. Uh, yeah. I mean, you got me. <laughs> I was hoping that you could give us some tips, you know, cultivation. Put all those PhDs to work on something actually useful. Jesus, TQ, what? <laughs> okay, I get it. This is not actually what you wanted to show me, right? No, of course it's not. Come on, keep following the trail. We're almost there. Come on, Sarah. That's funny. That's so awkward. Ugh, you think I would learn? You think I would learn, but I never learn. Nope. You're dealing with a bad guy here, Sarah. I'm a biker boy. Oh my god. Look at that moonlight. It is it's so beautiful. Keep going. Oh man, this uh, guy's pretty there. shit here. Look at that. I wonder what it would be like if just everywhere all at once the lights went out and everyone could just see the world just like this. What you mean? Like all dark and shadowy and depressing? I mean the moonlight, the wildflowers, the fireflies. Oh, I see you were kidding again. Okay, you don't take anything seriously. Oh, I take everything seriously. Oh, yeah, right. I do. You do not. Like when I suggested moving some of my stuff over to your place, you pretended that I was joking. Uh oh, -uh, no, that's not true. I pretended I didn't hear you. There's a big difference. You should have seen the look on your face. And you know, I do have a cell phone and I took a picture. You want me to show you? My God, you're a scientist. Can we be rational about this? Okay. First of all, all I said is that we should think about moving in together. You know, because we'd get to spend more time together and, you know, take the next step. What's irrational about that? I have a toothbrush at your place. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? You're right. That is a huge commitment. Well, I mean, do you know how much a good toothbrush costs? Okay, see, there you go again. Every time I try to talk about our future, you turn it into a joke. Okay, all right. We do need to talk about it. And we will talk about it, but just hold on for a second, because I want to... <laughs> I want to show you something, okay? See? This is why I brought you out here. <sighs> wow, how beautiful. Was it worth it? God, yes. <laughs> hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah? Oh. Uh. Deacon? Will you... Will I? Will you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so that a yes? On two conditions. Name them. Okay, well the first one is that we don't have one of those biker weddings where you say that you're gonna ride me as much as your bike. <laughs> Done, I couldn't promise that anyway. She said that. Stop. Okay, the second one... The second one is that you never leave me. Done. God, did you just break your biker ring off my finger? Uh, you know what? <laughs> I think I probably Ooh. did. <sighs> <laughs> Look at it. It's so cute with its little bangs just like clenching onto the chain. You know, nothing says true love like dog skulls. Dog skulls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what does it say there? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew Latin. Come on. No, uh, it's Morier Invictus. <laughs> it means death before defeat. Wow, I like that. 
Well, you're gonna get me like a real ring, though, right? Not that this one's no, not absolutely, great. Because I, I just you know, thought that's my ring. Right. It's your ring. Right. Something more simple. Without <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I'm sorry. No, it's your ring. It's the lab. I gotta get it. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. No, 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 it's fine. I'll be right there. Okay, bye. Is everything okay? I don't know. They need me back there. What? I gotta go. Uh, th this minute? Like, at th this time of night? I'm sorry. I have to go, but I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay. Come on. Hmm. So that was slightly before... Before the last, um, on the last episode, we had one of those flashbacks. This was before. This is when he asked her to marry her. My wife's name was, uh, Beth. No, I don't have a pick. Let's go. <laughs> Beth. And no, I don't have a pick. This guy, man. Oh, look at this. What's this? Shit. That looks like fun. Alright, so I guess now we're going to, uh... To the camp, right? Not unusual, you know. I'm sorry, what's that? To not have any photos of your wife, family. Yeah, why do you say that? Back in the day, everyone used smartphones. That's where we kept all our photos. When phones went away, the cloud went away, our photos went with them. Yeah, I guess I hadn't thought about that. My wife, Carrie, her father was a photographer. Old school, dark room, chemicals, all that. Too stubborn to embrace the digital age, I think. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have any photos either. Yeah, well, I hated him. Cell phones, I mean. It seemed like everyone walked around with their noses buried in the damn things. I never owned one. Interesting. How'd you manage that? I worked as a mechanic. I, uh, I had my own shop. Probably had the last landline in farewell. Hmm. Alright, now this is crazy. A bridge and everything? What? What the heck is this? You guys are taking this shit seriously. The Colonel believes with enough motivation and discipline, we can achieve anything. Come on, hurry your ass up. I'm going as fast as I can. Just move it! Is that your idea of motivation? The Colonel has set up a work camp on the south side of the island for those unfit to serve. Some of them require extra encouragement. I'll bet. Come on, follow me. Yes, sir. Hmm. Stand up there with the others. Good luck, St. John. What? <laughs> Got your ass too, huh? Whatever. Hey, man. It's good to see you again. St. John, right? Son of a preacher, man? Taylor, what's this son of a preacher, man shit you keep saying? I'm just kidding with you, man. Hey, do you have any luck? What? The, the woman you were looking for, you and your peeps are riding with. No. I need all your jewelry, watches, shit like that. Come on, in the bag. What? Sure, man, whatever you say. The hell you say? Recruits aren't allowed personal effects. The side shit's just gonna get stolen. Come on, cough it up. Oh, yeah, shit's gonna get stolen. Goddamn bullshit. Tin hut! Huh. At ease. Visitors are not welcome here. You are here because you were invited, recruited by my trusted officers. When you answer me, start by giving me your name, last name first.
Getting by, same as everybody. Name. Atkins. Crystal. Sir. How many men have you killed? Before or after? Answer the question. Mm. Fuck you! <laughs> we have all done things that we're not proud of. What? To survive. To stay alive. The Almighty understands this. The Almighty forgives this. <laughs> but here, upon this woman's face, are the footprints of Satan. Prison tattoos. Proof of what you once were and no doubt still are. <laughs> They're gonna it's hang her people ass. People like her that are responsible for bringing the wrath of the Almighty down upon us all. <laughs> Take her to the work camp. What? Ah. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you. Come oh. on, gorgeous. Let's goddamn go. Goddamn redneck asshole. Get off me. <laughs> what about you? Uh, Taylor. Uh, wait. And, um, no, sir, I, uh, never been to jail, never killed anyone, nothing like that. You've been in the shit for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I, I know, I know how to shoot stuff. My, my dad took me hunting when I was a kid was at, at a camp near Klamath Falls. It got... And how about you, son? You know how to use a gun? St. John, Deacon, yeah, I know how to use a gun. You're a drifter. Hold out your right arm. Tenth Mountain, Iraq, Afghanistan. Honorable <laughs> service, and don't lie to me. I'll know. Served one tour, served with honor, hated every goddamn minute of it. <laughs> Thou shalt not lie. Good man. Hold up your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the new constitution of these United States against all enemies, natural and unnatural, to bear witness and support to the same, and to obey all orders without question? So, do you swear? I swear. Walk with me, son. How's it going, soldier? Walk, Captain Captain Curry son. doesn't bring me many recruits these days. He must think highly of your combat skills. Uh, I've been in the shit a long time. You know your way around the freaks? Yes, sir. I, uh, I know as much as anyone, sir. Good, good. In here. We'll have the doc take a look at you. A dog, huh? Pulse is strong. Good heart rate. Got a pretty nasty burn there. How'd that happen? Uh, had a run in with a wood stove. Wood stove, huh? Who dressed this? I did. No está mal. Not bad at all. Thank you. Keep it dressed or you're gonna lose that arm. You hear me, amigo? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I hear you. I want you to check back with me in a few days. Got it. Well, Doc. How is fit to serve? Lara bien. You doing runs out in the shit? Mm -hmm. Sorry, Doc. Uh, <laughs> ya tiene novia. Uh, he's spoken for. Let me guess. The Wizard Island Witch. Vaya con Dios. Good luck, amigo. The hell are Let's they talking somewhere. about? I normally don't tolerate insubordination, referring to an officer as a witch. But I make exceptions for some of my more eccentric officers. Yes, sir. I make exceptions because every man and woman still living has a role to play. Do you believe in God, St. John? Never gave it much thought, sir. Well, it's high time that you did. He has a plan for us, all of us. And my part is this. Was that a freak there, just standing? Sir? This 
place. I had a vision. Oh, nothing so grand as those described in the Old Testament. No flaming chariots or burning bushes. I simply woke up one morning before God's plague had rained down upon the world and knew that this was the place. Crater Lake, uh, Wizard Island. Hmm. I call it the Ark. Are you familiar with the story of Noah's Ark? Yeah, I mean, yes, sir. I mean, everyone's everyone's heard of it. Indeed, you'd be surprised how few have read the Bible or the Book of Revelations. You mean Genesis, Noah's story? I mean, um, that it's it's the Book of Genesis, sir. Yes, of course. Where the heck are we right now? Okay, son, let's get you squared away. Whatever you say. Now. We don't have much in the way of uniforms, I'm sorry to say, but uh, I think that, uh, oh, here, try this on. Seems to fit. I'll take that. Well, if you don't mind, this is a gift from an old friend. An old friend? <laughs> Not many of those left anymore, are there? No, there are. Okay, soldier, but I don't want to see you wearing it. You're one of us now. And normally we start new recruits in the rank of private, but since Captain Curry has vouched for your experience in the field, we are starting you out at the rank of corporal. Thank Congratulations, you. son. Thank you, sir. Yeah, <laughs> let's get you some work. He's hating this every second of it. All right. Now, what was I saying? Uh, you were telling me about the Ark, sir. Yes, the Ark. What you see here is only a small part of it. Behind us is a whole network of caves and vents that lead from here up to the Cone's Peak. When our work is complete, they will be filled with thousands of seeds, plants, computer files, and books. The world may die, but our achievements in medicine, science, and technology will not die with it. No, sir. But the island is more than just an ark, Corporal. It is a stronghold, a fortress. Here at the North Gate, we are stockpiling enough munitions to take the fight to the freaks. We have rifles, grenades, heavy machine guns, and RPGs. We have the equipment to make ammunition. Every type, every caliber. Hmm. Yeah, these people are well, this well This is fit. our mechanical engineering area. If you need your bike repaired, see the officer on duty. And as you can see here, courtesy of the old National Guard, we are building a fleet of trucks and other vehicles. Once the hordes are cleared from the highways, we will begin to rebuild the roads and bridges. Your slash and burn strategy may stop newts and swarmers, but it won't clear the highway. It won't, it won't stop the hordes, sir. We are aware, Corporal. The hordes. The hordes are a different beast entirely, aren't they? But we have a plan. Plan, sir? Benjamin Franklin once said, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. We are not going to fail. Hmm. Now, where exactly are we going? Because we're walking. The heart of the army lives here at the gate, ready to move on my command. These tents house hundreds of women and men, just like yourself, who have pledged and sworn their lives to the fight. But I have something else in mind for you. An assignment that requires more than just the ability to survive in the shit or use a gun. Are you up for it, son? Uh, yes, sir. Wherever you need me. You asked how we were going to defeat the Horde? Let me show you. Move it. <laughs> so, are we ever going to find his wife? Are we going to find out more information about his wife? I mean, the hell? Whoa! Now. Oh, shit. You okay, Lieutenant? Oh, hey, Colonel. Sorry about that. Too much acetone in that batch. Lieutenant Weaver is our chemical engineer. He's working on new ways to, to blow shit up. Defeat the enemy. I'm sorry, but 
Yeah. Uh, name's Weaver. James. St. John, Deacon. All this militia shit's just for show, right, Colonel? Corporal St. John is new to Corey's unit. If you need anything from out in the shit, he's your man. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah there's a couple of things I need. What are you working on? Oh, just the new gelling agent combining naphthenic and palmitic acid. Oh, you're working on napalm? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This dude knows his shit. Uh, just a lucky <laughs> guess. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt. Oh, any time. Oh, Colonel. I'm getting real close, Colonel. Very close. That's good. That's really good. Where are you going next, Colonel? Wizard Island Witch? That'll be all, Lieutenant. Wizard Island Witch. <clears throat> Again, let me apologize for my more eccentric officers. No need, sir. We have one final stop. As much as I believe in Lieutenant Weaver's work, what you're about to see could be, I think... Yo, there's plants here, dude. Victory. In here. Dude. I have a feeling... Alright, what is this? Ma'am, I got everything on the requisition form. Does this look like fabric softener? No, ma'am. Oh my god. Okay, why don't you read it? <laughs> Active ingredients, chlor, chlor, chloroform, and uh, a terp, turpin. Ter Get out! Shit. Get out! Oh! Matt, I can't do this if I have to do my own supply runs. I got it covered. Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal Saint John. He's a new member of Corey's unit. He's got some experience out in the shit. Read this. What? Read this. I mean, you can read, can't you? Active ingredients, chloroform, aterpenol, benzo alcohol, hypolactic acid. Good enough. When can he start? Ah, I'll leave you to it. Carry on, Lieutenant. Oh, my God. Leave us. Stand at attention. What? Sarah, oh, I don't. Oh, my God. No, oh, you're, you're, you're dead. You're dead. You're supposed to be dead. Hey, hey, hey. You're dead. It's okay. You're Dude. dead. Right here. Oh, shit. Wait, wait a, wait a second. I, I don't understand. I couldn't I, I find you. you had died and I, uh, No, we were overrun. Was and, and we had to go south. We, Nero, they yeah, said Nero, that no one no, made I it out. Ryan and I Farewell was way. overrun. They said that everybody was mountain. dead. And I, didn't think that I never thought I would see you again. Seen. Oh my god, dude. What? <laughs> hey, hey, listen. Now we can ride out of here. We'll pick a direction. We won't hey, look back. Come please. on. No, no, Deacon. I can't. Are they forcing you to stay here? No, you don't understand. We're fighting a war. Don't you see? This is a war that we can win. I didn't come here to fight a war. I can be helpful. I can make a difference, but I... I can't go with you. I have to stay here. Don't you get it? You, you can stay here with me. Help me. Look, afterwards, whatever you say, we, we, we can go wherever you want. <clears throat> Colonel's looking for you. Whatever you say, ma'am. 
Wait, wait a second. Your requisition form. Thank you, soldier. What? <sighs> Guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks Corporal for watching. St. John to Lieutenant Weaver. Come back. St. John to HQ. This is Weaver. What can I do for you, Corporal? Uh, your requisition form says you need mercury. Any idea where I can get it? Yeah, sure. I should have written that shit down for you. It comes from, uh, Cinnabar. Corey's unit scattered out of mine north of Diamond Lake. Head there, radio me when you arrive. Yes, sir. Why are we hey, between you and me, if the <laughs> colonel isn't around, stop with all the yes sir, no the sir bullshit, all right? Makes me feel old. That is adding all right, guys. On top of it. Catch you later.